today we have with us a very talented hardcore teacher honorable dr nilofar shakir ma'am since 20 years she is in teaching profession she has published 14 research papers in international and national journals and, and pre- presented 30 pa- papers in international and national seminars she has completed a university grants commission sponsored minor research project she has completed her phd in post colonial writing of history and culture today she is with us and she is going to speak on a very fantastic topic that is the reflection on romantic poetry the solitary reaper and ood on a gracian urn so i welcome honorable dr nilofar shaki ma'am on this occasion thank you sir thank you yes yes ma'am Yes ma'am thank you very much yes sir. start okay uh thank you dr ranjanikar for uh, your uh, wonderful introduction and uh, before i begin with the, the lecture let me pay my, my homage and humble tribute to sant sautamari uh, uh, a great uh, saint and uh, today as uh, dr ranjanikar has said that i am going to speak i am going to speak on reflections on romantic poetry uh, with special reference to uh, the two poems that i have chosen uh, one is uh, the solitary reaper by william wordsworth and the other uh, poem is ode on a grecian urn by john keats hope i am audible enough uh, am i audible sir uh right uh, now before i come down to the poems let us know in brief what is romanticism romanticism is an was an intellectual movement that began in the late 18th century in britain and continued up to the mid 19th century it started in britain and then it spread to its neighboring countries like france like germany and then to other countries of europe like uh, italy spain poland etc in literature uh, this movement began in literature with the publication of lyrical uh, ballads which was uh, a book jointly written by william wordsworth and s t coleridge this movement began in other arts as well like architecture painting music etc now what was this movement let us uh, study some of the characteristic features of the romantic movement now the romantic movement was a reaction it developed as a reaction against the preceding age the previous age the previous age was that of um, neo classicism or the augustan age uh, now the preceding age that is this augustan age laid a lot of emphasis on order on form and harmony in writing it believed in the classic aristocratic principles the romantic movement was a protest against the classicism and some of his characteristic features were when the augustan age inclined more towards order and form it inclined more towards objectivity the romantic movement sto- showed a strong inclination towards subjectivity then the romantic movement Uh, 
inspired by the two great revolutions that is the french revolution and the american revolution the slogan of equality liberty and fraternity which spread through the french revolution fired the imagination of the romantic writers writers and the romantic poets hence in their writing and in their poems we see a strong regard for the underprivileged and the disregarded section of the society and as i said this movement was inclined more towards subjectivity they laid great emphasis upon spontaneity imaginative spontaneity the romantic poets were escapists they sought a refuge from the pain and misery of this world through imagination right and into the world of imagination and the world of nature so imagination and nature are two important characteristics of romanticism nature for the romanticist was not something uh, like something which is natural for for them nature was spiritual it was their spiritual companion they sought solace they sought comfort in the lap of nature nature for them was a great creative force nature for the romanticists was a great life force so so we find that most of the romanticists or most of the romantic poets were pantheists now let us see what is pantheism pantheism is a belief that god is present in all the objects of nature that god is present in all objects of nature so the objects of nature form elements in romantic poetry the romanticists were worshippers of nature uh, william wordsworth was a great pantheist so subjectivity spontaneity turn to nature were some of the key features of romantic poetry so how did this movement develop we have seen that this movement was radical it was a kind of a protest right and it was a protest not simply against all forms of tyranny or yeah, all forms of objectivity it was also a protest against industrial industrialization this was the age when industrialization had already started in um, great britain and with industrialization uh, there was a rapid expansion of industries uh, and factories right so uh, this expansion of uh, industry the coming up the emergence of factories right this changed the face of great britain to a great extent the beautiful countryside was replaced by affluence the beautiful and lovely villages of thing were getting transformed into cities hence the movement was a protest against this kind of industrialization uh william blake uh, and uh, uh, wordsworth as well were the poets who criticized industrialization through their poems and uh, yes now in the con- in the context of these two poems we we see how uh, nature forms a predominant element in romantic poetry so i have selected first i have uh, selected um uh, the poem the solitary reaper by william wordsworth william wordsworth belonged to the uh, first generation of uh, romantic poets uh, which uh, included st um, coleridge as well as uh, robert sabe and uh, these uh, poets